Properly packing your pack is something taken a bit for granted by experienced campaigners, but for beginners, it can have a huge effect on the comfort of your load carrying. The key themes are you want to keep your light and bulky items in the bottom compartment, your heaviest items in the mid to top section, close to your mid back for a stable centre of gravity, and then place any gear frequently needed in the top section and pockets for ease of access. A good habit is to lay all your gear out and then loosen off your pack compression straps and start by packing your bulky and light items that you won't need for the day in your bottom section. This might include your sleeping bag, your air mattress and your sleeping thermals. A Tatonka dry bag can be handy here to compress and keep things dry and you may even be able to sneak in a few of your evening dehy meals depending on your pack size. Onto the mid section, this is where I'd start by placing my tent and then run into those heavier items like cooker, gas bottle, food, etc. And now nearing the top section, we'll go back to those lighter items so the pack isn't too top heavy and swaying around. Another dry bag for easy access to my daytime clothing items, a couple of puffers, some fleece tops, and then raincoat and leggings on top of that. All first aid will go in the inside flat so everyone on the trip knows where to find it. The top pocket or lid will contain those small bits of gear that I want to get to easily. My headlamp and inreach or PRB, hat, beanie, gloves and any snacks. The front pocket will contain my pouch with essential items, a knife, tape, lighter etc. And light things like a loo roll, bowl and spoon and a pack rain cover which not only helps keep your outer pack dry but will save heavy moisture being soaked into your pack fabric. Just keep in mind this pocket is the furthest away from your back so you don't want to put too much weight in here. The side pockets can be pretty useful for things you want to access without disemboweling your main pack like a spotting scope, tripod and even tent poles if they'll fit. Any other items can be attached using the various external straps as you see fit but just be aware that loose hanging items aren't the greatest when you start bush bashing so try keep the outer pack as clear as possible. Now your pack is fully loaded, the correct way to put it on to prevent niggly injuries is to grab the whole loop using your legs and core, lift the pack onto one thigh and then leaning forward, ease the shoulder straps on and buckle your hip and chest belts. Hopefully that's been insightful for any beginners to the pack carrying game. And to check out the range of these stoutly made Tatonka packs, head on down to your local hunting and fishing New Zealand store.